NBC4 News at 4 starts now. Another major retailer is going out of business. Fry's closed its doors for good. NBC4's Vicki Vargas has more on Fry's and now how other retailers are pivoting to survive. It is a tale of two retailers. First, Fry's Electronics, which announced it will close all 31 of its stores beginning today. After 36 years, the Consumer Electronics Institution is no more. Seems like everything's going away. Howard's Appliances is taking a different approach, opening more of what company officials call experience centers. We do not think that brick and mortar will go away for appliance shopping, uh, but customers do want to experience product. Both retailers have had to weather opening and closing their doors during a year-long pandemic. Both have had to navigate online sales versus in-person purchases. Howard's is banking on this, a place where the company believes people want to like see, touch, and feel the merchandise. You, know, you can buy clothes online and everything, and you want to see it first because it, you want to see if you like the, the, the fabric. It's like this. <laughs> Company officials say only 15% of their sales are online. The bulk comes from inside their stores. Fry's didn't have a dot-com presence until 2000, when shopping carts could be filled with a click. I can't even remember the last time I've been to a mall. I buy just about everything online. And yeah, with Amazon, they deliver it right to your door. A lot of times overnight. It's, it's sad that all this stuff, all these businesses that I grew up with, they're going downhill. It's sad. In a statement, Fry's is asking customers for patience, and they say email them if you left an item for repair. Company officials stopped short of blaming the closures entirely on the pandemic, but in their words, it has been challenging. In Fountain Valley, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.